animated. It's animated. Animated, okay. So we will not see I them. As long as they physically. got some Mario Kart in there. Very right? interesting <laughs> casting, I will say that. <laughs> Watch out no for doubt. Banana peels. And, uh, of course, check in this morning. Another cool start to the day. Uh, heading out this morning, probably need a jacket, maybe a hoodie. Make sure you've got something just a little lighter, though, underneath of that. Uh, things are going to start to heat up pretty quickly. Live view from Mount Vernon this morning to uh, start the day, and we've got temperatures uh, right now back into the mid 40s. So very similar to yesterday morning, where we've seen skies go clear through the overnight hours. Winds have also go, gone calm. That has uh, really maximized the cool effect there 45 degrees currently in Mount Vernon and winds will turn back out of the south by this afternoon and as they do so we do expect temperatures to start to climb in fact most of us warming back up at least into the mid to upper 70s today we're tracking yet another week cold front it drops in here first thing on Saturday morning Saturday far from a washout but there is a chance for a couple showers as that front makes its through way through right around sunrise and then behind it quickly sunshine returning and we'll continue to warm up by the end of the week and in fact 80 set to return clear skies overhead through the overnight hours clear skies out there this morning no clouds expected at least through the first half of the day your precision forecast we've got you covered across southern illinois mclean's broad ridgeway up to about uh, 77 winds today out of the south and southwest 80, uh, 78 into benton and in marion up to about 79 closer to the mississippi river carbondale southward over towards anna and then we'll start to see clouds increase late this evening but overall sunny skies today paducah up to about 80 degrees and uh, 79 today into mayfield all Always tracking in Zalma, Missouri, 79 there this afternoon. Poplar Bluff also up to about 80 degrees. And of course, Dave, Evie, it is high school football season. And by halftime, uh, temperatures dropping back in the low to mid 60s. No real weather concerns, though, this evening. If you are heading to uh, some of those high school football games, actually, it should be pretty good football weather. High pressure to our south today. It's going to increase the winds from the south and southwest. There's the cold front we're tracking this morning, making its way through the plains. And it's going to bring at least another brief cool down as we head into Saturday afternoon, but a couple showers right along the front. Notice the timing here about 6 a.m. So maybe heading out to some of those farmers markets first thing Saturday morning, you could see a brief passing light shower. They won't last for very long, clearing skies by Saturday afternoon. And then by Sunday, we're already on the other side of the high and winds turning back out of the south by Sunday afternoon. So temperatures, at least for the next couple of days, near average for this time of year, maybe a degree or two below that. By the end of the weekend, though, back in the low 80s. And look at this as we head into next week. Very warm weather. Temperatures actually set to return back in the mid to upper 80s. So yes, I've added that small chance for a couple showers. Again, don't cancel any plans over that rain chance there on Saturday. Sunshine returns Sunday and Monday. And then really feeling like summer once again as we head towards the uh, middle of next week. Another cool down set to arrive though as temperatures drop back into the upper 70s for the following weekend. Mm -hmm.